So what better place to launch a brand new line than NAB in that 2019, we got Nanlite. So I got Jeff with me to run me through the Forza collection, we should call it. Yeah, it's the Forza collection. It's <laughs> Italian for force. As you can see, they're pretty powerful. Yeah, this is insane. Yeah, so I mean, the main headline on this is size to power ratio. They made them as small as possible and as powerful as possible. Yeah, they're really well made up. The details look like they're all there. It's not overly composite, not a lot of thin sheet metal, like actually well made. The ventilations are a bunch of honeycombs that are as wide open as you can get without them being actually open, so it's totally ventilated, but you're telling me that we got a lot of power here. Yeah, so I mean, Nanlite is the brand being launched here at NAB, but the manufacturer, Nanguang, has been at it for 27 years. And what's amazing about them is they do everything soup to nuts on these, from the PC boards to the silk screening. Oh. They do all of that themselves. And so they have really tight quality control and a lot of innovation. So they're able to do low draw, high output, Monolites. Speaking of high output, them. tell me yeah. about this Fresnel monster right here. That's <laughs> so, totally light up the entire ceiling. So that's the 500, and like I wish I had some numbers to throw at you as far as lux tables, but we're actually having trouble getting readings because it's overloading our meters. Uh, we're guessing that at 10 degrees, this spot is putting out over 400,000 lux at one meter. And it's a standard Bowens mount. Yep. So it's, you can use the light with other. Whoa, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the 300 and the 500 are standard Bowens mount. We have our own light modifiers coming out, but Anything out there can either be converted to or already using a Bowens mount can go on there. So give me the quick rundown on the models because we're looking at the 500, 300, the 60, yes. and they're all saying that they're rated at CRI 98, which is crazy. Again, yeah, because they do all their own manufacturing. They do such tight binning on the LEDs, they control everything. And so these are really high fidelity, high output is the other word in there for these. You want to give me a quick difference in the models? Sure. So we have the 60, which I can grab over here, and the 60 is the one that's a little bit different. It's not Bowen's mount, but as you can see, that's because it's so small. You know, we, it's basically the size of, without the reflector, like a 32 ounce water bottle. This is sort of your backpackable, real, still extremely bright. Um, again, it goes over 100,000 lumens at one meter. 60 watt draw. We have it here on the uh, running off the Sony L mounts. It runs off the AC as well. The other features are still in this, though. The special effects that these guys have is built into this tiny little guy, the 60. And then up from the 60, we have the 300 and the 500, which is what we were looking at before. The difference there, obviously, is the power draw and a little bit of the weight, but uh, neither of the, these heads are over five pounds. One's like 5.1, maybe around there, so you get no weight on the head. All of that's brought down into what we call the, the power satellite, where you get your controls down here, you get your AC adapter down here, and then the AC adapter pops out, and you can mount two V-mount batteries off to watch run them there. And with all this power, one of the biggest deals you have is that the settings for these, you can actually them down all the way to one. Yep, down to 1% dimming, so you don't have to ND the hell out of them to use them in a small space. Yeah, so a lot of people, st a lot of uh, companies stop at 10, yep. or you can, this is super dialable down to where exactly you need it. All the way down and flicker free up to 25,000 frames per second. That's awesome. Yeah. So we got wide CRI, uh, almost 100, yep. and we got dimmable down to one, yep. and you're telling me that's basically flicker free. Yep. All right, well, let me talk about these tubes. Okay? Sure. Let's go over here. So what do we got? So these are the Nanlite Pavo tubes. And uh, you know, there's a lot of tubes coming out there on the market right now, but there's a few things that differentiate us. One is the big headline is the in built-in lithium ion batteries. These guys will run for about two hours on the batteries that are inside them. So you can mount them pretty much anywhere. You'll get this sort of RGB special effects, full bicolor. This is for all the Fast and Furious kids to yeah. put under the yeah. Civics? No? Yeah, exactly. Well, it's polycarbonite too, so it'll take a few a speed bumps. Well, what I really like about this is all your controls and all your menu settings are right here. Yep. So if you're lost, you're not, you're not familiar That's with this light, you have an assistant, they just gotta look right here, boom. Yeah, exactly, or if you pull one into Rensel, you don't have to worry about sort of like a, a learning curve. Everything's written there for you. Sizes? Two foot and four foot. Okay. And uh, yeah, with these guys, the cool thing about them as well is we talked a bit about the quality that Nanlite goes after, but it's important to point out, you can't see it, but in these tubes, the RGB arrays and the white LEDs arrays are actually separate. So when you shift into bicolor mode, it completely shifts over. Yeah, and that's a big deal because a lot of times on panels and other things that are RGBW, if they use the bicolor in there to mix or fake the color, the exactly. closer you get to the light source, the less correct the color te uh, values are. Exactly. So this is that was very, very smart. Uh, this is pretty exciting, and it's the composite, it's really nice. I'm really yeah, into it, Yeah, again, man. yeah, polycarbonite. They told me you can run it over for truck. I haven't tried that yet. I don't know if I recommend that, but that's, they're tough, to, they're built like nails, so. Right. So Nanlite, we're gonna keep an eye on you. <laughs> All right, awesome, I know you have a lot of other products. Yeah, we'll, we uh, we'll, feature, we'll give as many links as we can down below, but this is your official launch, so congratulations. Yeah, yeah thanks, and we'll, man. Uh, we're super excited. We're gonna get one to play with? Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah man, Jeff, it's always good to see you, man. man. <laughs> <laughs>
had to stop by shore, and we heard so much about the Twinplex line. So, John, why don't you just take me through real quick? Yeah, thanks for stopping by, Adirama. We love you guys. You're a great partner with us. And we're so thrilled to announce a brand new portfolio called Twinplex. It's a, a new premium portfolio of lavaliers and headsets. Uh, we had over 60 options to fit into any workflow you guys encounter, whether it's connectors or colors or any of that stuff. That's all based around our brand new dual diaphragm element. So we have a dual diaphragm design inside this five millimeter product. There's actually a diaphragm on one side and there's another one on the other side. It's an omnidirectional mic. And this dual diaphragm design gives us really big low end response, really smooth high end response. Uh, we get uh, really consistent off axis. So whether you're turning your head on a lob, or you're on a forehead for theater, or you're on a headset and it drifts consistent. a little bit, that consistency is amazingly clean because you're always into one of the diaphragms. Right. So uh, most of the users are finding that the sound quality is unbelievable and the really warm, thick response uh, that is, doesn't sound, it sounds much bigger than, than the traditional five millimeter log. We worked five years on a new cable construction. Uh, we got a redundant grounding cable inside of here. Uh, so there's actually two tinsels in the cable. It's a really ultra thin cable, 1.6 millimeters. Uh, and the two tinsels actually serve as redundant grounds. We're actually flexing cable in the booth. Uh, that's how confident we are on the cable construction. So 50 pound pull strength on everything. Uh, really flexible, it wraps really easily through clothing. Uh, relaxes, uh, uh, wraps really easily, doesn't kink. Everything's paintable. So if you need to paint cables for theater, um, you can paint all the cables and match the wardrobes. You really thought it out in applications on this one. Yeah, uh, we got um, also hydrophobic caps, super hydrophobic coatings on the caps. There's a nano coating on the cap, and uh, that helps, helps prevent sweat outs and moisture ingress. Oh, that's cool. uh, we, we built a whole sweat bot to test for sweat <laughs> awesome. um, in, inside uh, at Sure. And we just got options galore, so colors. Versions without accessories. Uh, we got versions for theater called the TL45. We got high sensitivity versions, the TL46. Uh, we'll take you over to the, our selector tool real quick. And uh, you can head over to sure.com slash twinplex. You can go through all the different labs and check all the different colors and find the exact one you guys need uh, for your application. So, and a great headset as well on the TH53 with a really fast, uh, easy to adjust. Um, Easy to adjust frame, really your lightweight. So we're really happy to have Twinplex finally available for you guys. Yeah, we've heard so much about it. I'm really glad you had to go walk through with us. Uh, you guys should check it out. We'll put the links down below. Thanks so much, John. Thanks, guys. Enjoy Thanks the rest of your show, man. So Canon Professional Products has dropped a new cinema line. So let's talk about this new glass with Tim. Yes. So what are we looking at? So we're looking at the Canon Sumi Ray line of lenses. It's pronounced Sumi Ray, and it's a Japanese word for uh, a particular flower in Japan. Conceptually, it's about how the, when the flower opens up, it gets more beautiful. Okay. So that's sort of what this design is. As we open up the iris, we get from four to two eight to, to team three to two. The image starts to shift. The bokeh changes in really interesting ways. It goes from that sort of 11 blade round to more of a, a, like a cat's eye shape, which is really interesting. The lens does some really beautiful things in the corners, skin tone starts to soften out, the, the, the fall off becomes a little bit different. So it's a, more, of a, um, more of a creative lens. Gotcha. It's nuanced, but it's made specifically not for perfection, not for, um, but more for beauty. For Artistic more, look. Yeah, we want yeah. some character in the glass. You know, we've got this world where we've got 6K and 8K sensors out there, and you know, it's they're all starting to get that sort of sterile look to them. Well, you're definitely so, set up to win with these scenes. You have all these little tiny points of light to make all that bokeh happen, right? Yes, and that's what I mean. Bokeh is a big, big part of it, but it also flares really beautifully. Uh, it has these beautiful sort of imperfections in the glass, which is a big shift from the way we normally in yeah, the glass. Yeah, but it's But we're a camera company, which means we're an image company. It's not a sterile look. No, it's not. It's really beautiful. Now, after four, when you get up over four, it becomes more of that traditional Canon um, Clean, look. super clean. So you can sort of use it for both. But once you get under four, it really takes on this character. And the other thing that's huge on this is their PL mount. Uh, We've had CNEs, seven CNE lenses for several years now. We never offered them in PL. The demand for PL was always there. So now we have a set of primes in PL as well. That's pretty big. Yeah, that's huge. Yeah, yeah. yeah just, the, just the PL alone would have been great. But to have this really nice uniqueness to them. Real quick, take me down the line. you got the 85 here, but what else do you have on There's the line? There's seven total. We have... Uh, 14, 20, 24, 35, 50, 85, and 135. Oh, nice. So it's a pretty complete set. Yeah, they're pretty, pretty complete set. And they're all pretty fast. The meat of them, the ones in the middle, are all 13s uh, and 15s, and then 
the outliers like the 135 and the 14 are a little bit slower, but the, the stuff you use most And this 85 is? That's a 1.3. 1.3? Nice. That's a fast piece of glass. Great. Well, you guys are always putting out incredible quality, and this is really a cool steer in a new direction. Uh, I like the whole like imperfection. You're harping on that a little bit. You know, I think it gives a little more personality to someone's own kit. Yeah, it's hard to explain imperfection in terms of glass, but I think the art of the glass is in the imperfections. The unpredictability of it is the, the, the nice... Yeah. It becomes its own character. Yeah, it absolutely does. And it's, you got to see them to understand them, but trust me, we'll find a way for you to see them. All right, so. great. Thanks so much, Tim. We're going to check this out. All right, All right we'll put the you. links down below. So one of the great things about NAD are the smaller little companies and some little unknown gadgets you might not know but can really change a game. Well, we heard these rumblings about Platypod. I ran into Larry and I found Platypod. I got to tell you, I thought it was like, you rent a platypus and it holds your camera for you or whatever, but that would be fun. It turns out to be a super versatile plate. Yes. So take me run through. There's so much here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> meet platypod. This one's called Max. We have a little one called Ultra. So meet Max first. World's most compact tripod base, and this allows you to take any kind of tripod head, whether it be a small one like this or a big one like this, and all yep. you need to do is spin it on a little bit and then just locks into place with no tools necessary. You don't have to get to any screws back here and you're ready to mount any camera on here, even something. So you have a 3 8 nice mount on like here. Yes. And it's, it's, a, it's basically a plate of foot that you can mount in various different ways by drilling it or hanging it. Correct. And you have the 3 8 mount on here, but you can also make it a quarter 20. Correct. You can reduce it down. We have a, a little accessory kit. So we've got a reducer for the uh, for little GoPros and smaller cameras. We have a spigot adapter so that you can put lighting equipment onto it. And it also makes it female instead of a male mount. That is correct. So, that's so it great. reduces down from 3 8 inch to 1 quarter inch female. And we've got a 36 inch strap which will let you get about around a 9 or 10 inch pole or tree and a little silicone rubber non-slip pad. So if you want to put it on a delicate surface like a table, delicate table, or a uh, car hood, you can do that. You can pull up to the side of the road and start shooting. There. How long have you guys been around for? We've been around for four years. We're very well known in the uh, photography uh, circuit, video market. We're just starting here in NAB this year and seem to have attracted a lot of attention. Yeah, well, I mean, it's, it's pretty much like a Swiss army plate. Like, you, you can do a lot with this. Exactly. And it's really, what I like about this type of stuff is I'm big, when I do my demos, I tell people, I like things that don't take up a lot of space in my bag, but make a big impact on what I'm trying to do. Correct. And this looks like it could slide in based, how much does this weigh? This is 11 ounces. Our smaller one, for the smaller counts of cameras, is just 3.5 ounces. Very cool. Man, so, uh, we carry this at Adorama. You do? Oh, and uh, we were sent here to check it out. I'm telling you, we heard it at every other booth we were hearing about it. So I'm That's glad great. we found you. Larry, we'll put some links down below. Uh, and uh, thanks so much. Enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you so much. Yeah, man. We'll see you. Good luck. So all show long here at NAB, Adorama's been having panels and live guests. And one of those guests actually was Jeremy Young, the CEO of Adamus, who let something slip about their new software, Origami. Check out this clip. You'll have this one app. It's not a color correction app. It's not huge amounts of deep dive. It's an organization, get yourself ready, and then go where you want to go. So you're taking metadata, embedding it into an MOV file. Mm -hmm. So that's sort of like kind of what you'd get from a raw file of Absolutely. a photo. Absolutely, absolutely. Right? And you're going to then, the origami is the idea of it is going to optimize. It's going to unpack it. <laughs> uh-huh, and send it wherever you decide. That's kind of what I'm. Yep, and you can go to Dolby Vision, you can re-encode it for wherever you want to go. Here's the bit I saw on your thing. You said it was an SDR monitor. That origami player, come over, mm -hmm. I can turn any Mac into a Dolby Vision HDR monitor, just like I do my monitors, hmm. but inside our window. Okay, so just like we did a 600-nit Shogun that mapped eight stops, mm -hmm. We've got a 600 nit Mac that maps eight stops. Oh, I got it. Now I think I got you. And yeah. now, as the nit values increase mm -hmm. and the quality of the monitors come out on the computers, we can map more and more stops. And is it our algorithm? No, it's Dolby's. So it's completely consistent with what you're seeing on the TV. So now you can use your Mac to a very high level, your MacBook Pro, all with the free application that we are giving you with the unit.